My name is Peter Goggin. I'm the associate pastor at Broadmoor United Methodist Church in Shreveport, Louisiana. I was born in Oklahoma, raised in New Jersey, and I like to say I was refined here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but moving to Louisiana was a bit of a nightmare for me. Uh, I moved after my freshman year of high school, and so I held God personally responsible. And uh, we weren't talking, but in the loneliness of a crowded classroom. I remember the words I'd heard at church so many times before that God is with me, we are not alone, and uh, peace just washed over me, uh, and uh, we started talking again. For college, I went to LSU and joined the Wesley Foundation, and uh, I went undeclared, so I had to um, take a test to find out what you were going to be when you grew up, and uh, I had three answers. Uh, main points in my chart that I received, graphic design, teaching, and pastoral ministry. I guess I started on the wrong side of that page. Uh, when I graduated, I became a graphic designer, and after two somewhat miserable years, I got to return to the Wesley Foundation as their intern. And I began to toy with the idea of being a minister. I got to have lunch with the DS at the time, Ralph Ford, and uh, he wouldn't sign off on my candidacy because I was just toying around with the idea and wasn't really sure. But he told me, uh, God's call is like a hound in the night. It won't let up, so not to worry. Uh, he gave me some additional books to read, which I read, and then became a first grade teacher. On Ash Wednesday uh, 2010, I went with my fiance to worship, and as I sat down, the question of if I would ever go to ministry really became a matter of when. And so I leaned over to my wife-to-be and whispered to her, would it be cool if you were married to a pastor instead of uh, a teacher? And she leaned back to me and whispered, let's talk about this after the service. Uh, but I'm happy to say that she was cool with it. Uh, we were married, we got to go to seminary together, and it's been wonderful learning and growing in faith and ministry together. If there's one person that I can thank uh, during this video by name, it has to be Leah Stevens Goggin. Uh, my wife and the love of my life, uh, who has been with me every step of this journey. There's no one else I'd rather walk uh, through life and ministry with than her. She's kept me grounded uh, and uh, balanced uh, through all of this. Uh, and so for that, I am very thankful. It really does take a village uh, to raise up a minister, or in our case, an annual conference. Uh, so there are just way too many people for me to thank. Uh, specifically, though, uh, my class, uh, my ordination class, uh, I want to thank all of them for just the community of support that we've created for each other. Uh, even though I wasn't there for the uh, cobbler incident, I've always been a part of that inside joke. Um, but truly, for all of the churches who have raised me up from St. Andrews and St. John's and University in Baton Rouge to First Grace in New Orleans uh, and up here in Shreveport, Knoll and Broadmoor United Methodist Church, I would not be the pastor sitting before you about to be ordained if it wasn't for the love and prayers and support that you all have given me. Uh, one last thought. Uh, my wife and I do have a hound dog named Zoe now, and sure enough, late at night, if she catches the whiff of anything, uh, she will not let up until I go out and personally escort her back inside. And every time I put on my shoes, I'm reminded of God's call and the love and grace and mercy that he offers to us all, one that never lets up. And for that, I am truly grateful.